Premier Comrade Mielankov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Vurons. The primary agent was this Vuron, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, comrade, is that Vurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. <gasps> and the American people are not noticing? <laughs> no, no, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, they must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates! There's only one way to deal with such men. What in the... Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's bigger. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Amuse 
thy languid Furon god, zap my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arkvoodle. My waning joie de vivre is rekindled. Landing zone activated. Good work getting the saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it. They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my Holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. It appears the saucer took a hit, or 12, on the way here. No, 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 don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Shopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Oh! 
Ark Voodoo requires slaves. Female slaves. Preferably by... Some scantily clad. By the sacred genitalia, heed the will of Ark Voodoo. These females are fly this and off it. the hook. Landing zone activated. The desecration of this land offends mine all-seeing eye. Read the vicinity of human-made refuse. Thus spake Ark Voodoo. Sacred son of Ark Voodoo, thou hast pleased me well, for thy servant... I grab thee some serious swag. Landing zone activated. You were taller in the first I game. Ouch will help upgrade your weapons. Run for your lives! Ow. Bring me humans, alive and squirming, that I may suck up their life force like Voltarian linguinipedes in spicy solar clan sauce. Arkwood has spoken! Oh, I... I don't get her! My omnivorous hunger is sated! Landing zone activated! It rhymes! I'm a poet and I know it not. It's the Chinese! They're invading! Don't make me shoot you! Ow! Police! Oh. Hey! I can see my house! Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Main City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the Freak. Excellent. I shall continue my repairs on the saucer. And then... I don't know. Order a virtual pizza or something. 
brains, I hate this. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater, which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eating out of his hookah. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bongwater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great, great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. If this bong water guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! There's a party in my van. Hey, you invite You'll come back later. But it's an emergency. My Rajas is pressing on my... And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. <gasps> That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Yes again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm going to have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifists. What a crock. Dad! <laughs> 
bad trip, man. Imbecile! Police dispatch, is this an emergency? We got him. 10-4, all units stand down. This bone water fellow seems to be evading our grasp. Crypto, go and speak to the freak when you get a chance. He's our only link to this so-called hippie guru. Jam on, Far out, man. We're freaking out. Little green man. How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this, somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps! Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man! It's what's on the inside! Gas! He's gonna gas the whole city with Revelade! Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this, Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Revelade, didn't you hear me? Easy, man, move out! What am I doing talking to this creep? Hawks, we got a situation. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Freak galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. Luckily, I've detected more data calls from the mothership nearby, containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer up and flying. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh, yeah. It's payback time. What the hell is that thing? Die, beast! Is that yours? Then put it back. Hey, does that belong to you? I didn't think so. What's new? Hold your ass, fatty! Come on out, hippie freak. I won't hurt you.
Right on. Time to boogie. Get eliminated. Call them off. Yes, sir. All units stand down. Leave your head. Wow. So our Furon God is buried in effigy all over Earth. Huh? <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Ah, oh, yes. Arkfoodle of the Sacred Crunch. Prodigious in size, legend in potency and stamina. You put me in mind of him, Crypto, with your new clone's pure furon DNA and restored genitalia. Yes, you are the spitting image of... Oh, good gonads! The prophecy! What? What prophecy? It foretells the coming of a savior who will reassert the sexual dominance of the furon race. Tis written in the holy book of Fudenka. And lo, a son of Arkfoodle shall rise newly born. To prepare ye for that day when Arkfoodle shall come again. Wait a minute. 
It sounds incredible, I know. But crypto, what if it's true? What if you're the one? Hmm, I did take a red pill this morning. Okay, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. How the hell am I supposed to bring about the second coming of Arkfoodle? The scriptures say Arkfoodle will return when enough seekers believe in him again. You mean like Tinkerbell? It's something like that. But Crypto, this is ideal. Humanity is desperate to reconnect the physical and spiritual. All that's needed is for you to spread the good pickup line of Arkfoodle. They're bound to follow you. You want me to start a cult? Basically. Hmm. Religion is the opiate of the masses. I like it. But how do I do it? Well, humans tend to sublimate their individuality into tribal units bound by social and political commonality. Such groups are full of docile sheep. Ripe for conversion to the way of the sacred coach. Hail, Arkvoodle. Time to get religious. Hallelujah. Before you do, it would be wise to go and seek the blessing of Arkvoodle himself. What? You mean one of those statues with a pigeon crap on it? Precisely. Seek the blessing of Arkvoodle, and your coach will prosper. If you say so, but I'm gonna feel like a putz. The Russians have landed! On the road to our very way of life! The glory of our hoodle grows from the highest state of chaotic fecundity. When the ring terms orange and the population's nerves are frayed, then shall the ground be fit to sow, and the masses shall follow. Thus spake our hoodle. Bound, chicka, bound, down. Police dispatch, go ahead. Yeah, I need backup on the double. Send it someone now, sir. Attention, citizens! From the ashes of terror and destruction, Arkwoodle is reborn to spread the good pickup line of erotic satiation. Go, son of Arkwoodle, take the sacred crotch to the masses! What's up, Hogs? I have a very important mission for you. Okay, what's the plan? Well, with the mothership gone and our mission in jeopardy, it's high time we contacted the Furon homeworld and requested some backup. Finally! I'm sick of having to fight off these monkeys with an understocked armory. Yes, I can imagine. But with a new mothership at our disposal, the balance of power will swiftly be restored. So we're calling home, huh? Yikes, that's some serious long-distance charges there. We don't have that kind of scratch. What are we gonna do? Call collect? I'm on top of it, Crypto. We'll be using an unregistered transmitter, assembled from human technology gathered from all around Bay City. Sounds like a major pain in the tuchus. So, who's the unlucky bastard you conned into... Oh, right. Okay, but what human junk could we possibly use to make an interstellar transmitter array? Oh, it shouldn't take much. A dish, a few electrical components, and one of their TV aerials. Those should do the trick. When you're finished, just make sure you install it somewhere high up off the ground. Bonanza's on tonight, and we don't want any interference during the transmission. Try. 
I guess I can make this thingy into a communicator array. Now, what do I use for a quantum spin resonator? Aha! Yeah, this doohickey ought to work, as long as it doesn't fall off. Now, for the, uh... Ah, what the hell is this? They call this a particle burst accelerator? The sensor cell connects to the focal plane, the focal plane connects to the plasma beam, I know you're waiting for me to sing the damn song, but I ain't doing it. I got standards. They may not be high, but I got them. Also, we couldn't get the rights. Ah, screw this crap. Let's say we just cut to the end and call it finished. Time to phone home. Bada bing, bada boom.